to my channel. Today I'm gonna review this lumberjack which you can get for free from the current event and then I'm gonna show you my tuning. So as you can see this is an SUV which is a pretty uncommon car for drifting. Back then when I first got it this car was pretty okay and I honestly thought that this car got potential but now it's really underpowered so I guess I was wrong. Now the car itself is heavy but the transition is not because this car stands tall. I mean the body of the car itself is tall so this will help with the weight transfer when you're drifting so your transition will be quicker. The problem is it's not exactly a good thing because it's wobbly. I mean yeah sure you can do transition pretty quick but it's unstable and sometimes you're gonna overload your suspension and bottoms out on one side which will probably lead to spin out if you're not careful. And I'm using high pressure tires on this car to kinda make it easier for the engine to spin the wheels. I mean, it's an underpowered heavy car, so I couldn't think of any other way to make it better. And I also used the most stable shock setup to kinda help with the body roll so the drift can be more predictable. And in terms of performance, this car performs like a tier 2 and it handles like that tier 2 Betsy. And the drift retransmission is a total mess. So if you're playing the current event for this car, well, just take it easy. I mean, this car isn't really worth it in my opinion, so just do it for collection. So there you have it, the review of this Lumberjack. Like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!